Hello, I'm Richard Retro Gamer here, and I am now playing on Who Wants to Be Millionaire Third Edition on a DVD, digital versatile disc. <laughs> this is the terminology of it. Which this um, Who Wants to Be Millionaire Edition, um, Family Picture Edition. I've never played it, so I mean, I know the. I mean, I know the rules of the game, obviously. <laughs> you know, you free, have three lifelines and try and get to a million, which I never do. <laughs> I can only get to about 8,000. Even though I think on the Union Edition, I've got to like 32 or 64,000. But there's both on there. There's the adult version of the game and a junior version of the game, so. Alright. So, family picture edition here. Okay, one pilot. Select either the adult or junior questions here. Um, go for that adult, and then the second, and then the next junior. So, adult. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. Which of the following is a town in Essex? Hang on, clue, is it Bezeldon? Hang on, clue. I don't know, um, Essex. So, first, <laughs> first question I have to ask the audience. Right, audience, time for you to help us get up to the next level. Have a look at the available options. Get your keypads ready, okay? Make your selections. Now. I should have gone with instinct. A correct answer to kick off with. But well, I, I still wasn't quite sure. I thought, is it Bezelton? But then again, it could have been yours. Because I ain't got a clue. Take a look at question two. It's for 200 quid. I'm not going to do very good on this one, but, you know, in a fair tale, Sleeping Beauty pricks the princess's finger and makes her fall asleep. I ain't got a clue. Right, computer, we can do with your help <laughs> finding the correct answer here. Can you remove two of the wrong answers, please? I leave the remaining right answer and the remaining wrong answer. Rosebush? You are incorrect. Unlucky. Oh, that was can I start that again? I don't think you'll ever win the million if you can't even answer two questions correctly. You leave the game with nothing at all. Well, I'm not going to win anything, am I, Chris? Because it's virtual. <laughs> that was very poor. <laughs> I could only do better than that. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. Come on, let this be easy. Can't believe left with nothing. <laughs> All embarrassment. <laughs> a virtual nothing. Which of these is a type of slightly leaven Indian bread.
Very good. Off the mark with a correct answer. I'll do get naan bread when I uh, when I have chicken korma. Take a look at question two. It's for two hundred quid. Which I push. Sure, not because it's mostly full of carbs. Well, who was elected leader of the Labour Party in 1994? Tony Blair. Well done, that's right. Well, he isn't doing better than last time. <laughs> the next question is worth £300. Here it comes. Which of these is an... Um, Alternative name for the A1 road that runs between London and Edinburgh. Well done, you are right. Oh, I don't think it would have been the others. <laughs> okay, the next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. How many degrees are there in a right angle? I'm doing a very good at maths. So it's telling me it's 60. I could be wrong, I'm not quite sure, so I'll have to ask the virtual audience. <laughs> so I didn't do very good at maths. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Audience, you look like a very clever bunch. Take a I look still at think, the you know, one and one is eleven. Press your keypads now. <laughs> well done, that's right. Yeah, but a lot of people said well, it bay, didn't they? As well. You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. I'm just happy for probably win that. <laughs> complete the name of the. I think you Essex. can get this one if you really think about it. Complete the name of the Essex seaside town. Is it Walton on the Ooze or Walton on the Wise? It's wrong. You've lost five hundred pounds. Oh, this is embarrassing. I can't believe I, I should have gone with nice. Oh, you were so close to getting to a thousand pounds there, but you're leaving us with nothing. Better luck next time. Oh no, this is embarrassing. I'm quite sure. Come on, I should do better this time. Let's leave and get over a grand at least. And without okay, not using the lifelines. The adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for <laughs> 100 pounds. I'm thinking too short plants. <laughs> at least I met it. I mean, at least I have a bit of knowledge, it's not a lot of it. What was the name of the Roman god of love? Oh, that one's easy. A correct answer to kick off with, well done. Come on, cross fingers and touch wood. <laughs> Take a look at question two, it's for 200 quid. Please let me get to a thousand without not actually using any lifelines. Bishop D is, is an in that cartoon law man popular in the 1960s well done it's the correct answer I know clue that was just a guess the next question is worth 300 pounds here it comes I was born in the 1960s I'm supposed to know that from 
is an informal. Don't forget, there is no time limit. Brum is an informal name for which English city? Brum. That's good. It's the right answer. Okay, the next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. In which boat has Ian Wilson been selected to c captain a European team in 2006? Who? Who's Ian Wilson? I'm going to guess football, but I'm probably wrong. So I'll have to ask the virtual audience. Come on, let's see if we can get to the first okay, milestone. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Audience, you look like a very clever bunch. Take a look at the options. If you're ready, press your keypad. Now. I'll just go for the highest percentage, and that was B. Well and done. I did say it by golf, didn't I? <laughs> and I didn't even know. You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right. And you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. Come on. Which of these food items takes its name for the French for flight in the wind? I ain't got a clue. Come on, I want to okay, see if we can so get to the... to use your phone a friend lifeline. Choose the person you think is most likely to help you. Well, if it's something to do with jog free and... ...won't it? I got Gordon. So it's military history, so it's bound to be bound to gone up like around the world and, and I think he might know. I'm convinced that the answer to this question is D. Yes, I'm sure that if you select D, then you'll make some progress. Good luck. No, he seems very confident, but then again they can be wrong. Congratulations, that is oh. the right answer. You are doing very, very well. Oh, thank you. I've got to the Great, first you're milestone. you're guaranteed a cheque for £1,000. But I don't oh. want to give you that just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. Brand new experience for this special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, you might as mm. well play the next question. It's worth 2000 quid. Which of these sports is said to have been invented at a school in Warwickshire in 1823? Football, badminton, rugby, cricket. Where's the pictures then? Well... See if I can narrow it down. Okay, you've decided to use your 50-50 lifeline. Computer, please take away two wrong answers, leaving us with the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. <laughs> well, if I get it wrong, at least I've got 2,000. Right to go for it, but it's the wrong answer. Then I wasn't right to go for it then. <laughs> you have nothing to lose playing that question, but getting it wrong means that you leave with just a thousand pounds. Well, it's better than nothing.
Just see if we can try and get past a thousand. You know, it took me all that time. I'll do the same thing again then. See if we can get past a thousand without using any lifelines again. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between you and a million pounds. Let's get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. Take your time and ease your way into the... Very good, off the mark with a correct answer. I know that one. I thought there was no point reading the question Take a look there, at so question two. It's for 200 quid. Which of the following would be most likely to have HMS before its name? It's the correct answer. Next question is worth three hundred pounds. Here it comes. You have chosen the wrong answer. Oh, I thought it was nest. Well, you didn't manage to reach the first milestone. Two correct answers isn't good enough. You leave with nothing. Keep leaving with nothing a lot, aren't I? I only got once. Oh. Well, I should have chosen my lifelines. I'll have another go. Okay, you've chosen to answer the adult questions. There are 15 of them between yeah, you and on, a then, Chris. Let's get on with Let's it. get you up to the first milestone as quickly as possible. Here is the first question for 100 pounds. Come on, I'm at least try and get past a thousand and try not using lifelines. Which is an eye defect where objects outside the center of the field of vision are not seen. Excellent. Off to a good start. Well done. Take a look at question two. It's for 200 quid. I was going to say about 200 pounds. Why quid? <laughs> Which of these is an item of clothing passed from one person to another? Think about that one, so I'm quite sure. <laughs> the next question is worth three hundred pounds. Here it comes. Which Lowry is well known for playing the harmonica? I'm sorry, but that is the wrong answer. Well, you won't win the million this time. You are going to... Right. Come on, this time I'm really going to concentrate. And try not losing lo um, lifelines and just probably have to go me inkling. What form of transportation is the children's television favourite? Either the engine. A correct answer to kick off with. Well done. I've heard of either the engine. Oh, I just Take a look at Thomas the Tank two. Engine. It's for two hundred quid. <sighs> Which word can refer to a type of carpet or breed of cat? Well done, it's the correct answer. The 
next question is worth 300 pounds. Here it comes. I can't pronounce that word. I don't, I don't know what it is. I've asked the okay, audience. Okay, you want to ask the audience. Audience, you look like a very clever bunch. Take a look at the options. If you're ready, press your keypad now. Well done, you are right. I can't even pronounce it. G Galactrix. Okay, the next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. Which of these is a rank in the Royal Navy? Well done, it's the correct answer. Oh, I thought I was going to go with sub-commander, but... You are one question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. Yeah, and then I've got to try and get higher than that. According to the title of the class... I think you can get this one if you really think about it. Ah! Our name is Empty's Rock and Roll. Deep for... According to the title of the classic Deep Purple track, where was the smoke? Up the chimney, over the mountain, in the pipe. It was smoke on the water, fire in the sky. Smoke well done, you are right. on the water. Bow, 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 but I don't want to give you that just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. Brand new experience for this special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now you might as well play the next question. It's worth 2,000 quid. Which Shakespeare play is considered to be unlucky for actors to refer to by name? Hamlet, Macbeth, Julius Caesar, Romeo and Juliet. You can always choose to walk away if you have no idea. Which Shakespeare play is considered to be unlucky for actors to refer to by name? I think it was, was it Romeo and Juliet or was it Macbeth? And you watch, I'll choose the 50-50 and leave me with Macbeth and Romeo and Juliet. But then again, I'm not even quite sure anyway, so... Mother so, you me. want to phone a friend, that's not a problem. Just select who you want to call, and we'll see if they can help you. Very well, it's another correct answer. Yes. Thank you, virtual friend. You're up to question seven. It's worth four thousand pounds. You don't have to play it, but here it comes.
How is the three mile avenue leading from Windsor Great Park to the walls of the castle known? The long walk, the straight walk, the Roman walk, the castle walk. Quite sure. Right then, looks like you need a bit of help finding the correct answer. Let's get the computer to take away two random wrong answers and leave you with just two to choose from. Are you sure this is your final answer? You lose a thousand pounds if you get it wrong. It's not the right answer, I'm afraid. You've just lost a grand. Damn. Okay, since I'm stuck with well, just winning a grand going for 4, again. Well, but I'm afraid that you leave the game with just a thousand pounds. I don't know what, I'll probably do better on the, um, on the junior. I might. I'm trying very bad on this one. Okay, you're going to answer the junior questions. You'll need to get all 15 right to win the million. The first milestone is £1,000. Now, let's get you there as quickly as we can. If you're ready, let's play. That's right. Well done. Move over. Take a look at question two. It's for 200 quid. Why don't you move over there? <laughs> Which of these is a record of what happened in the past? It's the correct answer. This very here. The next question is worth £300. Here it comes. See, so yeah, I thought I should have started on this one first. <laughs> but I thought I'd start, I thought I'd gone in the adult and didn't do very good. I got like two round and I lost it in a bit of a. Which of these means a pretty qualm? Qualm. Squabble. Correct. Very well done. Okay, the next question is for 500 quid. Take a look. One question away from your first milestone. Get this right, and you'll be guaranteed a thousand pounds. I'll probably do a lot more harm at one time. <laughs> Which of these is a particular physical characteristic of hobbits in a Lord of the Rings books? Good, it's the right answer. Great, you're guaranteed a check for a thousand pounds. But I don't want to give you that just yet. Let's shake things up a bit now by introducing a few pictures into the questions. Brand new experience for this special Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 
Now, you might as well play the next question. It's worth 2,000 quid. This London landmark shares its name with which facial feature? Nose, eye, ear, mouth. Do you want to... You're doing very well. It's another correct answer. You're up to question seven. It's worth £4,000. You don't have to play it, but here it comes. Where does the captain stand when controlling a ship? On the bridge, in his bunk, on the harbour wall, in the lighthouse. I got a clue. Was it on the bridge? Right, you want the audience to help you with this one. Audience, grab your keypads and get ready to choose the option you think is correct. Ready, all vote now. I should have gone mink then. I should have gone mint stint. I wasn't quite sure. Good answer. Things are going well. I didn't know that. The next question is worth £8,000, but you will drop 3000 if you get it wrong. Here it comes. What is the name of this TV character's cat? Jinx, Socks, Hobbs, Jess. It's the right answer and it's just taken you up to £8,000. We're starting to play for some serious money now. This question is worth £16,000, but... Get it wrong and you'll lose 7,000. Here it comes. Which of these drinks is traditionally made from this fruit? Beer, cider, cola, lemonade. Cider. Fantastic! That is the correct answer! Okay, this is where you can guarantee yourself £32,000. Of course, if you get it wrong, you'll drop back to a 1000 Take as long as you need. Here comes the question. Opened in 1999, what is the name of the National Sports Stadium in Cardiff? Centenary, Jubilee, Millennium, Anniversary. No problems with that answer, it's correct. Fantastic, I can now write you out a cheque for £32,000. It's picture questions all the way now. You might as well have a go at question number 11 for £64,000. Here it comes. Which character in the TV soap Emmerdale was played by the actress on the left of this picture? Zoe, Kelly, Betty, Tricia. I haven't got a clue. I don't watch Emmerdale. So, you're after a bit of help from one of your phone of friends on this one. Hopefully the one you choose will be able to help you. Remember, you don't have to take their advice. 
Let's just see what happens. Good at these picture questions, but I have no idea what the answer is to this one. If you don't know the answer, I'd walk away. Thank you very much. Right, computer, we can do with your help finding the correct answer here. Can you remove two of the wrong answers, please? was worth a guess, but it's the wrong guess, I'm afraid. Well, you were right to have a go at answering that last question. You've lost nothing, and you walk away with a whopping cheque for £32,000. Well done. Yeah, I'm happy with that results. <laughs> Even though it was on the junior. But at least they did better that time. I don't know why the questions have been very hard on the, you know, on the, at the start, didn't they? When they get to a grand on that, that's, normally I can get a bit higher. Oh well. I don't know if I'm going to play no more, so, yep, so that's the third edition of Hewlett's Brilliant Millionaire, a family picture edition on DVD. So, I'll end the video here, so I should say, ta ta, cheerio. I'm a dirty only what, so I know it. Take care, stay tuned. Goodbye.